Hi everyone, today we'll be making the origami bow and as you can tell from the title, today is my 22nd birthday and what's also exciting besides my birthday is that this is a brand new video, it's not a remake video this time so this is kind of a little gift for you guys on my birthday and let's jump straight into it. So first we're going to begin on the blank side and then what we're going to do is fold diagonally horizontally and vertically as neatly as we can. <laughs> Perfect, and once we've done that, we open it back up. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a um, square base. So what we're going to do is using the creases we've just made, we're going to pick this square, as you can see here, as the top of our base. And what we're going to do is using the creases, we're going to bring the sides together like so and just flatten it down to create the square base so that's my fast easy way of creating a square base i'm not sure if there's other ways of making it there might be this is my style and once we've done that so going from this way up where it's the point at the top we're just going to fold this down by about two centimeters or a inch, whichever metric you want to use. Um, so I like to be precise, which is why I'm using a ruler. But um, honestly, you don't really have to do this because it's just kind of like a rough. That is so far from two centimeters. So that's actually exactly two centimeters. Getting better at g this guesswork. Um, so once we folded it down, so I'll fold it one way, but I would also fold it the other way just to make sure that the you really crease it down because it's going to be you're going to really need to see this on the next step. So like fully put else down. And afterwards we're going to open it back up and, and the center from the crease that I've made we see this square um, yeah a square and then what we're going to do is kind of like push it down and similar to before we're going to be bringing the sides in as we squash this down so it's kind of hard to describe but if you just follow what I do so you're gonna push these sides towards like so like that that was just collapsed inside then. okay great so now we have this so still on um facing this side up we're just going to bring these two sides into the center fold here so Oh wait, I meant, yeah, what am I doing, you know, I mean, yeah, we're going to bring this, so this is on the, so this is on the centre fold, I mean, so like that, yeah, wrong side I was referring to, sorry guys, and same as before, try to make it as neat as possible, because you want to make a really cute bow, let's bring this camera closer oops oh the decoration just disappeared on the side we don't need that because this is going to be a cute decoration and oh yeah and then flipping over and doing the same on the other side like so so got both sides fold it down and then afterwards this is the magical part this is the really awesome part this is my favorite part of making this model is we're going to open it up so taking this top layer I'm just going to 
open the model up and as you can see a little kind of like square forms in the middle as you open it up which is really cool <laughs> I find it really cool and then what you're going to do is open it all the way up and squash that square down like so is it doing that? And making sure you squash everything so it's all nice and flat and perfect so we have a yeah. yep so this is how it looks flat so we finished like kind of the first part of it so far and then we're going to flip it back over on the blank side again and after that we're going to need a pair of scissors like so and we're going to be cutting okay be careful where you cut this part because if you mess up you mess up you're going to be cutting these parts here of your model on both sides so um, this part if you flatten it out a bit so you can actually properly cut it because you want to cut this as neatly as possible you don't want to mess up and the other Side. Okay, so that side's done and then you're going to want to do this on the opposite of them And then once that's done, put the scissors to the side because we don't need them anymore uh, for this stage, but still keep them next to you. We're going to have this. So as I said, these sides were just cut. And then after that, we're going to oops, like this, yeah, like this way around. We're going to fold one of the sides down. So whichever one you want to fold down is up to you. Um, I should have cut this slightly more actually. Just gonna make a small rip here. So you guys make sure you cut it all the way up to the edge, not what I just did. And folding that down like so, so that it kind of looks like a mouse right now actually. We're going to be folding these sides towards the center line on each side. So, lifting that up out the way on each side, we're just going to fold to the centre. And then repeating that on the other side. So with these folds, um, obviously try and get it as neat as possible, but it's on the back at the end of the day. So if it is like slightly wonky, it's not that big of a deal. Because the other side's going to be the front of our bow. So yep. Once that's done and you've done it as neatly as possible, we're going to need our scissors again. And we're going to, for two, both of the layers, we're going to cut right down all the way up to wherever that is. So making sure you ad align it as much as you can. Okay, so this is kind of hard because of the lighting and the pattern of this, but yeah, cut it down as neatly as you can like so and then after that we're going to be folding each of these sides out and yep so laying that flat you see the um, lines the creases I mean what we have here we're gonna fold it out to them so this is the 
difficult part because you have double layers so you're gonna have to like fold it carefully out so the creases should end about here for you guys too so these were creases that we made earlier which is kind of like hard to tell especially so like that with the pattern I should have probably picked like a plain pattern but I thought hey it's a birthday video so let's use the nice paper that I have and I save up for special occasions such as my birthday okay so this is actually neat it's just that because it's double layered it's kind of going all over the place and then we're gonna fold this these up to this side here um yeah up to the side and so it the edge is just above there so as I said this is the back again so it doesn't have to be really neat and the same on the other side we're just gonna fold this up to here so it isn't peeking through and oops, like so so like that you can kind of already see there's like a bow kind of shape going on and then we're gonna fold these two sides towards the center so I'm gonna have to lay it flat for this part again just gonna fold either side like that so that's one end of the bow and the other end I'm just gonna fold this on the inside again so as I said it doesn't matter if it's that neat but try to make like both of these like each side like even as possible so yep it's kind of messy actually the way I made the back so hopefully you guys make it much neater my tests are always much neater than my actual one I swear um, and then we're gonna flip it to the other side and you know what it's almost so sorry guys my camera just died literally the battery but so now that we have this model it's almost done all we need to do is tuck in these sides into this little square here so tucking in one side and then tucking in the other side oops into the little square like so oops and yeah this is it this is how you make the bow which was much easier than i thought as well honestly so hopefully you guys all try it out and make it too and if you want you can like flatten these down so like obviously if you're putting it on a card for example um, time to get my example out like so if you're making a card like this which hopefully you might add some glitter and other stuff here to make it more fancier you might want to squash these down so obviously you can actually put it inside a card but um i like it like this because it makes it more 3D and kind of makes it look more cute, I think. And obviously you can put these on cards or a present or obviously like wherever you want. I just really wanted to make this origami because it was so cute when I saw it. And it was actually, it's really easy as I just showed you guys. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day. So subscribe for more awesome videos like these. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Like the video so I know these these are the type of videos you like to watch and thanks, bye!